All right, well, um, we've carved the uh, feather on the insole. And uh, I'm going to show you how to, to uh, last the upper. But uh, what I did was I moistened the, uh, the upper with a little bit of water and stretched it on the last right after I finished it just to uh, start to get it in shape. So that was the first lasting. Then I'm going to uh, show you now the technique of lasting, but that will actually be, this will be the second lasting. And then we're going to put the stiffeners in and uh, like the toe puff and heel counter. And then we're going to uh, do stitching of the welting. So that will finish it. But all right, so you need nails and uh, you need two different gauges of nails. One of them is small and it's a uh, 7 8 uh, of an inch long nail which is uh, approximately 23 millimeters long and the other is uh, an inch and a quarter which would be in millimeters about approximately 31 millimeters so always powder your last because uh, if you don't do that it might not come off so easily when you're finished the shoe and removing it. Um, an old prank that is well documented is the older shoemakers would purposely neglect to tell their apprentice that they have to powder the last and then derive amusement when the shoe won't come off when it's done. Not a very nice joke to do to someone, but um, that's a traditional joke to pull on a uh, new shoemaker. So um, don't let it happen to you. All right, the first step is we're going to align the upper at the right height. And uh, it comes in handy if you leave behind the tape where you cut the pattern off. So adjust the back of the upper uh, to the correct height and then put in three nails through your stitching there of the uh, small small variety Next, you're going to um, take your lasting pliers, and if you don't have lasting pliers, then use whatever pliers you have, like a needle nose or channel locks. And uh, put a nail about an inch in at the toe. Now one very important concept in lasting that will uh, take a little bit of the headache out of it is to feel right here. And at first, um, the leather will go from here straight down and it, it won't have this nice shoe shape. So you have to stretch it into that form uh, by pulling here and here. First one side, then the other, and then doing it again so that you are stretching the leather this way over. So. Now do some pulls on the heel.
and uh, the leather makes these two uh, folds here, so pull each of those in. All right, so once again, first step, small nails in the heel through the sewing holes at the uh, correct mark on the last. Then, first pull one nail in the toe, then pulls just behind the ball of the foot, here and here, then two pulls on the heel and several pulls on the waist. Now I'm going to uh, check to see how I am and um, there'll be space still that needs to be stretched in so you have to tighten it even further to uh, make it con have contact with the last underneath this crucial area. So we're going to add um, two more nails here pulling like this, this direction, like that, and that, there and there. So two nails here, then I'm going to take these two nails out and pull again. Okay, it's getting tighter, taking shape there. Now I'm going to pull out these two nails and retighten them. Now um, I'm going to go in and uh, gather in the leather in the spaces in between and I'm going to use um, my smaller tip needle nose pliers. So nail here, nail here, here and here and uh, all the way around and then I'll do that and show you what that looks like. All right, um, basically I've been pulling uh, in the spaces between each pull and um, the last is powdered and um, covered with the upper and uh, the insole is in place. So we're going to uh, let this rest a little and uh, we will prepare our uh, toe puff and counter and other stiffeners so that um, what that is is uh, pieces of uh, shoulder leather that are put in between the lining and the upper and moistened and covered with uh, paste and hammered uh, to compress the fibers with the uh, hammer. I fold the uh, upper out of the way, take the nails out, fold it up glue the toe box in and the um, counter and hammer it into shape and into strength with the uh, cobbler's hammer and then 
let it dry, and then relast it one more time, and we'll trim the leather and sew the welting. So here we go. And uh, the little needle nose pliers come in very handy for reaching in hard to reach spaces, much uh, more dexterous than the clumsy lasting pliers. And uh, sometimes I like to use a regular hammer because it has a greater momentum for hitting nails in and I save my uh, shoemaking hammer for forming things. So I think that works a little easier. So there we go. Uh, this has been Andrew Wrigley um, on how to make a shoe by hand. I hope this has been of some help to you and uh, keep, keep clicking and skiving. See you on the next video. So it's been lasted for the second time now, and uh, the leather was slightly moistened again, which gives you a little bit more of an idea of what it might look like when it's waxed. But uh, it's coming along nicely. We uh, are starting to have something that looks like a shoe. So on to the next step.